All right, so we're gonna go over a really common presentation that we see in people's hands and wrists. So we're gonna, what I wanna talk about is how we can do a little bit of self-massage in kind of this part of your hand, okay? Right there. So what you can do is we wanna to try to get it to almost like it's popping out towards the screen at you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna just take your, your, your other thumb and you're basically just sort of pushing it, sort of trying to bend it back that way. So it's like you're just opening it, you're just trying to open that space there, trying to get that musculature to relax so that the thumb can more easily sort of start to open, okay? From there, we, there's a couple of things we need to do up the forearm and the elbow. So what we're gonna do, take onto this, and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna give a little bit of a, pull that direction without letting your arm follow. So it's like we're trying to make your arm longer here. So this is something that was first brought up to me by Bill Hartman a few months ago. I'm sure other people have been doing it as well, but he's definitely the first one to have, have, uh, have checked it out. I'll put his uh, website on the show notes. And, and what, so as that pulling, what you might feel is a little bit of a stretch up this way. And then the last thing, uh, Mike Camperini walked me through this one, also add his stuff, great mentor, keeping your hand right here. And what you're gonna do is almost try to like peel it away, but you don't, but you like don't let your arm move. So you just keep that hand here, you lock it in, you lift your elbow up. As you lift your elbow up, you don't let this hand lose, it stays there. And what you're doing is you're just gonna do it like 20 times, so that way we can kind of open up the hand and get it in a position there where it can grasp things and be able to push it with a little more ease. Let me know what you have for questions.